So let me tell you where we're at today. We currently have 64,700 acres within the fire area. And the perimeter of that fire area, we have 55% of that contained. We have 1,911 individuals working on this fire as we speak, and that includes 41 crews. Crews are 20 people each. 132 fire engines and 17 helicopters, as well as two to five heavy air tankers as needed. So that's the numbers for today. So let me give you an update on current fire behavior, and I'll use I actually use both maps behind me here. Starting here in this area where the Pingree Park Road hits Highway 41, we had a lot of fire activity last night. I'll hold just a second here. We had a lot of fire activity last night all along this area from essentially the, what's called the Narrows on around a mile or so down to Pingree Park Road to this point that says drop point 36. Our response was we've begun firing fairly intensively in this northwest corner. And you may want to look at this infrared map over here and you can see on that there's a lot of red in that area. And that's where our gain was yesterday in acres. We gained I believe about 4,000 acres or so. And it was primarily right in this area here where you can see all the infrared with the slash being areas of high intense heat and the dotted being areas of heat but not as intense. And that's where that gain was. And that was primarily our firing operations along this road and along Highway 14. Today we're going to continue firing along Highway 14. So let me start now and give you an update on our activities today. Right here near Dot Point 36, just west of the Pingree Park Road, we do have a spot fire of about 10 acres or so. We've got hand crews on that. We've got heavy helicopters. You've seen them flying. That's where they're, that's where they're working as we speak. Last report of a little while ago was we think we're making really good progress. Should have a, a line around that soon. So we're pretty optimistic about that. And this entire line is really key to our operations as well as this entire corridor. So coming on around, we've got firing going on here today to try and get this finished. You can see there's some areas that aren't burned between that red fire line perimeter, edge of the fire, and the Putter Canyon Road. Key point for operations today, all through here. Coming on around, this area is looking pretty good. We've got uh, firefighters engaged, making sure we've, we're secure here. We did have a spot fire yesterday in this area um, just east of the Narrows. We worked really hard on that. We've got a good handle on that. I think we've got that anchored down where it's not going anywhere. And obviously this is a key area right below the Glacier View subdivision. So we're in good shape here. Coming on around, you can see we've got containment, that black line all the way around to this point here. That brings me over to that southeast corner along the Red Canyon Road. We're also doing really good there. Uh, that fire made that run there Sunday. Uh, burned about 1,500 acres outside our line. We've been working hard on that since. I think by the end of today's operational period, we're going to be pretty secure here in this area right along divisions, these two divisions, Victor and Romeo. Working our way west along the south flank, we've got containment along most of that, which brings me to this point here. We have a, what we call a a hand line or a check line here that's holding to keep this fire from coming here. We're going to look at how we start to rope this thing in here as a way to start bringing this fire in operation down here to the old Flowers Forest Road and then probably continuing south and then maybe cutting this off where we don't have to fire in here just east of the Pingree Park um, CSU campus and some of that area. So that's the current fire situation. Now let me tell you a little bit about where we've been the last couple days. The last, actually the last three days. The last three days we've had three days of red flag conditions. That is very unusual for the front range of Colorado. Those kind of conditions, we do our best to hang on. We've got a change in weather as you, as you are aware I'm certain today where we're looking at cooler temperatures in the 70 on the fire, relative humidity in the low to mid teens, that's better than we have been with single digits winds more out of the east at 10 to 15 miles per hour 
those are good, much better conditions. That's what we've had. Uh, that's where we're at today and tomorrow in terms of fire weather. So let me just tell you that the folks we have working on this fire, those, those crews, those 41 crews, they include 18 interagency hotshot crews. Those are the best firefighters we've got. And they're working hard as we speak. They train year round. They're an assembled, hard working group of young men and women. And I will also tell you that we've got the best minds looking at how to deal with this situation in terms of operational knowledge, understanding, tactics, and so on. So that's where we're at. That's where we're going. We have, and I've talked about being aggressive and being patient. We've been patient through those red flag conditions. Today we're going to be aggressive. We have an opportunity with this, this weather condition to start getting some lines, start getting some more containment in these key, key portions of the fire. One area I haven't addressed where we're going to increase our aggressiveness is in, around all these unburned islands. We're going to start looking at getting some hard containment lines around all those islands which have structures within them.